hello beauties welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video your girl will be transforming i'll be transforming into a human being as you can see i'm really looking unkept um i'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup so please keep watching i'll go ahead and use my eco style gel i use the green one it's very light and you can actually braid your hair the next day without having to wash it off and yeah I'm going to um, tie my hair with this elastic band and hold it, hold it in place <laughs> for ponytail later. I'm going to do my edges now. I actually ended up um, doing my edges later off camera because this big brush didn't give me the look that I wanted. I'm going to tie my hair with the scarf. And now let's get into the main thing, the makeup bit. I'll be using my Elamasca primer. It's called Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel. I don't know what that spot is doing right there, but we move. I'll be using my Laura Mercier Translucent powder just to stop shine i'm quite oily in my t-zone area i'll go ahead and use my new foundation guys i think i'm going to do a review a whole video on this foundation because it's so good i went ahead and used a little bit of my morphe setting spray just to make my makeup last longer and blend 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 when i say my blending game for this makeup look was on point it was on another level i was really proud of myself <laughs> then i will go ahead and highlight with my la girl pro concealer in cool tan and then i will contour with the shade beautiful bronze is also la girl pro concealer it's really soft and yeah blendable and then contour my nose i can't leave this bit out never <laughs> if you know you know then i will start blending out my contour i blend out my contour first and then i highlight um as you can see i blend out um upward um because i'm trying to lift my face i'm trying to snatch this face because obviously when you wear a ponytail if you don't contour properly your face is going to look round and obviously i wanted my face to be snatched snatched like i wanted to transform this is a transformation video you know and i'm going to contour my nose blend it properly take my time any mistake your nose is going to look somehow so be guided <laughs> then i'm going to blend out the the lighter concealer when highlighting I don't only use one concealer I use two shades I use this one first and then I go ahead and use my revolution concealer in 10.5 this is a lighter shade because i want my on the eyes to brighten up a little bit so this helps i don't really apply too much just a little and then try and snatch my face you know move moving an upward motion um, just to give that face a bit of lift then i'm going to set my under eye with the laura mercier translucent powder um i, I didn't use much then i use a little bit all over my face just to set my entire face please don't use too much if not you're going to look white and then i'm going to contour using my nyx contour palette i'm using two shades lately i've been using two shades because i feel like the shade i used to use before was not giving me was not was not doing it for me so i i, I now go with the darker one and the one that I, I normally use 
then contour my nose as well use a little bit of the translucent powder on my nose you know and then we are done look at that look at that and then we're going to do my eyebrows i hardly do my eyebrows on camera i'll be using my benefit clear eyebrow setter gel to um, brush out my eyebrows and then use my vimal eyebrow pencil in black brown just to fill in any spaces and then i will go ahead and use the eyebrow setter again just to you know set my eyebrows keep them intact and yeah give them a direction <laughs> basically um and then i will use my pro concealer in cool tan to you know keep the place neat and blend 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 make sure there isn't any harsh line yes period <laughs> period <laughs> then i will use my revolution concealer in 10.5 um this dries down matte so you don't really need to use any powder on it it's really good for eyeshadow so that's what i do then i will use a shimmer shade from my 35v morphe palette i'm going for a simple look like i always do then i'm going to use this darker shade at first i thought it was brown but as you can see it has a reddish undertone I guess I'm not really good with colors but then I later went in with a brown shade just to you know fix it <laughs> I will be doing a long wing um, obviously I'm transforming we are not going basic we are going all out for this look so I'm going to do a very long wing you know and then um, do my cat eye as well you know just to be a little bit dramatic <laughs> then i'm getting my eyelashes ready for my first lashes i'll be using these lashes from aliexpress it's called e9 very good i've been using it lately and i'm loving it <laughs> yes i was definitely feeling myself now i'll be using this blush from b blusher i got it from super drug um i always use this my go-to blush then on the tip of my nose as well then i'll be using this highlighter from revolution it was a collaboration with soft and it's basically an old one i don't know if they really have it now but it came true <laughs> Then I'm going to highlight my nose as well. Then I'll be lining my lips with my Morphe lip liner in Trendsetter. This is my go-to lip liner. To give my lips that um, pink base, I'll be using my NYX soft matte lip cream in istanbul i don't have pink lips so you know i came up with this idea <laughs> before using my um, lip gloss just to you know give my lips that pink lips basically fake it till you make it go <laughs> then i will go in with my morphe lip gloss in boho this is my go-to as well i really love this lip gloss I really love everything about Morphe. Their lip stuff is really good. It's really good. I'm going to spray my face with the Morphe setting spray. And then I'll be applying a little bit of makeup on my edges. You know, just to make sure everything is matching. You can't leave this part out. <laughs> Then I'll be using this long ponytail extension. Um, it's from my brand, um, ADA Hair Extensions UK. This hair is 30 inches long. It's beautiful. It's heat resistant. Basically, you can actually use hot iron on it to straighten it. 
um, you can order yours on my Instagram page. Um, I will leave a link down below. Um, it's very nice, very full and fluffy. Like, just came true for this look. And then I'm going to use a tiny piece just to cover the tracks and give this ponytail that high look. using bobby pin to hold it down i used i think two bobby pins to hold it down and keep everything intact and secure <laughs> look at that look at that i'm going to brush out the hair using a white tooth comb yes girl <laughs> and here comes the transformation baby I really love this look I really love how this look came together Thank you so much for watching this video please like this video subscribe to my youtube channel for more and i will see you in my next one bye